even in the 14 years I've been at Calvin Smith, the curriculum has changed a lot. Sometimes I feel like it's my challenge to continue to do what I feel is developmentally appropriate for five-year-olds and still move them forward with what they are expected to know. But we do have students that are coming in at a, a much higher level than we used to. I like to visit their home actually before they even start school. You know, are they oldest in the family? Are they youngest? Are they an only child? What are their siblings like? Um, when I know the dynamics of their family, it sets that foundation for me knowing them and then I can put them at ease. But I also feel like I'm here to help mentor the parents as they come into the school system. They also need to know that they're doing a great job as parents and that they're on the right track and help them start to navigate the school system. And so I feel like I'm not only a teacher, but a mentor. Ever since I was little, I wanted to be a teacher, and then it kind of evolved into deaf education just because I really loved sign language, and I thought that there was such a need for like a good, strong teacher for the deaf. And then somehow student government just fell into my lap while I was here, but I thought that that was also a really good opportunity for us kind of being guests in this school to kind of build that relationship with Skyline and, and solidify having the deaf program here and helping those deaf students become more involved because I'm involved. My classes are quite small compared to the most of the classes in the mainstream. I think it's just more a focus on what that student needs to kind of level that playing field. You know, anytime you're dealing with, with hearing loss, then they need something else to kind of be on the same level as the hearing students, and, and most of that is just access, access to communication. And so in my classroom, I don't use my voice because they need 100% access to the language. And so American Sign Language is how that happens. And then when the kids do mainstream for classes, because they'll, they'll take classes from other teachers around the school, we have interpreters that go out and work with the kids. Um, and the teachers to make sure that they have access to the communication that's going on in the classroom.